What's up everyone, it's your boy NornRad89 here bringing you another video today, a very special one celebrating for the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. I wanted to invite somebody onto my channel to have some awesome reviews and like go over this funny Thanksgiving film. It's called Thanks Killing from 2007, directed by Jordan Downey. This is a very cheesy B-movie type horror film centering around Thanksgiving and I wanted to invite Mike from Did You See That? Oh, awesome. Very good friend of mine. He has his YouTube channel and I will have his description in the, uh, his link in the description below so you can go sub to his channel. I'm going to be having a little bit, you know, some, he gave me a five minute video giving his thoughts on the film. So I wanted to share that with y'all and then I'll give my thoughts on the film. I thought it'd be really awesome to have a partner tag along with this on this review for Thanks Killing because it's just a bonkers wild out there B movie. So let's get into this. Here we go. Mike from Did You See That? Hey, Noren, what's going on, man? Thank you so much for inviting me over uh, to appear on your channel for this collaboration for Thanks Killing. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, Noren's appeared on my channel before on like Z Talks, a weekly live stream that I do, but we've actually never really collaborated on a movie before. So Noren reached out to me, so thank you, brother, for reaching out. And he said, Mike, do you fancy reviewing Thanks Killing? Because, of course, by the time no one's probably shorting this video, it's probably like nearly Thanksgiving or so in America of 2022. Uh, we don't really celebrate that over here in the UK. So, by all means, I was like, hell yeah, I'm down to join you, man. So, if anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Mike. My channel's called Did You See That? And over on my channel, I cover a lot of asylum movies and a lot of just terrible, bad movies. So, Thanks Killing was right up my alley yeah this was directed by jordan downey who went on to do like critters free and didn't really do much with a filmography as such he did a couple of features here and there that's kind of about it and essentially this movie yeah it's bad <laughs> but i had a good time with it that's what i will say i think the movie kind of clocked in about an hour and 10 minutes maximum if i got that right maybe even a little bit shorter and there was a lot of stuff in here i did not expect whatsoever firstly the production company of this, or the distributor who bought the rights to distribute this movie, is a company called Gravitas Ventures, which is crazy because they send me screeners up until this present day where they've had actors such like um, Anthony Hopkins appear in the movie recently. But it's nice to see they're kind of like beginnings as such in the year 2008 time where this movie had a budget of $3,500 and it clearly shows as you're watching this movie throughout yeah this movie is a stinker i'm not gonna lie there's terrible music used in here like kind of like pop punk music or like the early kind of 2000 music but sometimes amped up over where you can't even hear the actors speak or whether it is the cinematography where it's just all over the place whoever is behind the camera it's just not capturing a shot that great whatsoever the acting here is absolutely abysmal. Yeah, we've got a highlight here I want to shout out. is Lindsay Anderson, who plays a character called Kristen. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> it literally felt as if they were, like, more stiff than a wooden chopping block. And it just felt like as if they were maybe looking off to the side, reading out, like, a prompter over here, and being like, oh, that's my line. Cool, I'll read that now. Yeah, there was no emotion behind the performances whatsoever here. It was laughably bad. But I found myself cracked up quite a few times. One other thing here that I did not expect was the turkey talks. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? I was like, this turkey talks? I mean, like, the animatronic or, like, the puppetry or whatever they use for the turkey here. I like that. And I did not expect to talk, but then this turkey does swear. I was like, bravo. I was on board from there. There's a lot of turkey jokes like being stuffed or cranberry. The turkey performing sex on a woman. Yeah, I was like, what the hell is this movie? This turkey does everything and it is absolutely bonkers. And I really enjoyed it. I just thought that this was a so bad. It's a bad movie, don't get me wrong. But it was just so funny and cheesy and corny all at the same time. And then that last shot of the movie really threw in a pleasant surprise and I was like okay 
So that's where we're going here, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah, this movie was a absolute blast. I had fun with it. Yeah, if I'm overall kind of like going to rank this movie and be like, oh, is this a great movie? No, I'd probably give it like half a star. But because I had fun with it, I would definitely rank it a lot higher. So Nora, my man, thank you so much for having me on. This is a blast. I didn't even know about this movie. So this was certainly a very pleasant surprise for me. And I think they made another one or two movies after this one. Uh, I'm not really too sure. But definitely going to be on board. And definitely going to have to maybe collab with you to cover the other movies. And uh, that would blast. Maybe a Thanksgiving annual treat for your audience, I guess. Me and you collab on a Thanksgiving movie. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But Noren, thanks so much for having me on, man. This was an absolute blast. I just appreciate you reaching out to me and want me onto your channel. And I hope you and all fellow Americans have an absolutely amazing Thanksgiving of 2022. But peace out, brother. See you next time. Thank you, Mike, for your all your awesome thoughts and your feelings on this movie. Pretty much all in the same vein as me, you know what I mean? This is a very B-movie type horror film. You know, it's not meant to be taken seriously. Like, when you go watch this film... You're definitely not meant to take it seriously, you know, the creators, the way they designed this film. But I love this because when you watch these kind of films, these are the kind of movies that you show people like anything's possible. Like if somebody's like out there doubting themselves or they're feeling like, oh, I can't do this. I'm not going to be able to make movies or write content. No, you can do anything you want for real. Like, you know what I mean? Any kind of content you can do in terms of movies, you can put out there and people are going to digest it. And I know, like I said, this is a very silly, wild out there movie that is a bad movie on purpose, but it does so, it does so good at being bad that it becomes good. And my favorite element of this is being what Mike said in his review, the talking turkey. Like, I thought that was awesome. The fact that it's a possessed turkey and he's going around killing people like the fact that he talks and he drops like silly one-liners even though they're not as good as freddy or say one-liners like chucky some amazing horror icons that have some great horror one-liners they're not that epic but it still hits hard and the fact that the creators and writers of this film they commit to the idea and that's one thing i want to say for sure is when i'm down for a shitty bad wild movie is one thing is if the creators and writers commit to it, it's going to be a lot more fun. If it's like, oh, we're trying to be serious, but we have this very ridiculous shit going on and very ridiculous storylines and characters that are horrible at acting. No, if you have that stuff in your film, you got to lean into it and really, you know, immerse yourself in that and just bring it to life. And people are going to have a lot more fun with your film because they're not going to go into it with that whole like, I'm critiquing this film. I'm like, you know, trying to digest this film. Like I'm an Oscar winner, you know, nothing like that. You're going into it just having a bonkers, good, fun time. Plus the dialogue in this film, like I said, it's a very bad B movie type of film. The dialogue is just gonna, it's just gonna eat you up because it's like something so bad that you're like, as you're watching it, you're like, oh my God, like I could have written something more potent, something more emotional than this. But then, like I said, the fact that it's, so just surface level and it's cheesy and it's like here comes the stuffing it's like you know silly stuff like that you know what i mean that kind of stuff plays into factor in this movie and it's like that's what you love about it it's like you're gonna get a talking turkey that's gonna drop silly vulgar one-liners while he's killing people like to me sign me up like if this was a theater experience and they were like this is your theater movie this is your see i'm like you know, sign me up. I'll buy a ticket. And one thing I must say is I'm excited about this is Thanksgiving doesn't, it's one of those holidays that doesn't have a lot of horror films that center around it. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like you got to pick and choose, like, you know, what kind of ones you want to dive into. And thanks killing. I was just very surprised that it's a film out there. It's been out there for a while, like I said, 2007. I've only seen it a couple times. Like I only watched it twice the second time to do this review. And I'm like, damn, like, this film's wild, and we got some sequels, too, so it's a franchise, so that's what I'm excited about, too, is to see where they took this bonkers stuff, especially when you get to the ending shot in this film, as Mike said in his review, man, that ending shot is just money, and I think the fact that we have such horrible acting, such bad characters, but the puppetry work and the turkey and, like, all the practical effects, like, the kills are not bad, like, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, the kills are pretty 
like out there like wild and I like the commitment to the satire comedy that they go with. My favorite one is probably when the turkey actually does kill one of our characters father and like wears his face kind of like you know Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface style and like is actually able to convince the people coming over to the house that it's the dad like that's it's just stuff like I said you're not meant to take this seriously and I know this is a film that's not for everybody this isn't going to be one of those movies that you just recommend to any old fan you know or anybody like out there on the street but it's one of those movies like I said I really appreciate because it's so bad and the creators lean into that that it actually I have enjoyment out of this film like I would give this film probably a two out of five stars if I was to rate it but in terms of enjoyment value like it's pretty high I'd probably give it like a 6.5 out of 10 because of like my enjoyment value of how much fun I have watching this film and I'm definitely going to have to return to this film probably every Thanksgiving time around that time I'll be returning to this film so yeah thank you so much like Mike from Did You See That like I said I'll have his link in the description so you can go sub to his channel and check out his content thank you so much for tagging along with me for this review of this really bad b horror movie out there thanks killing and you know like i said we had such a good time talking about this one and having a really fun blast and he brought some cool fun facts about the movie to the table too so i hope you guys enjoyed that as well i appreciate it mike like i said we had so much fun doing this one we might be tackling Thanksgiving 2 and there's actually a Thanksgiving 3 so we might be tackling that maybe next year and the year after that so make sure you stay tuned to the channel like and subscribe because it definitely helps out and if you've seen this movie let us know in the comments section what did you think of Thanks Killing? is this one that you find just really bad you can't stand this movie or is this so bad that it's good and you just laugh your ass off have a few drinks and you know, have some fun with this movie because that's how I view this movie. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.